Hey guys, Heathware here. Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to bring you guys my FIFA 19 club tour showing you the team I use, the players I've got in my club and all the investments I've currently got as well. This has been a really highly requested video as of late. A lot of you guys seem to want to see my team and I haven't really showcased it in any of my videos. Now you can tell by the calibre of some of the players we've got in the bench and reserves, it's a pretty decent team. Some of the players who don't quite make the cut, I think all of whom are first owner. We've got Luis Suarez, who I got uh, as an untradeable. A lot of those games are as a, a substitute, hence why he doesn't have the best of records. As a path to the glory card, he will of course get upgraded if they do well in the Champions League, so I'm hoping uh, they'll advance into the next round. Vinicius Jr. from a player pick back, another untradeable. Very, very good player, but I was let down by his finishing. It doesn't feel anywhere near 90 in terms of shooting. He missed a lot of chances, so I have swapped him out for a player very recently. I think I did his SPC yesterday and you'll see him in a moment. Got Lewandowski from Foot Champions, played a lot of games with him, 377 to be precise. Boateng got him during uh, the Footmas promo, haven't really used him. Raheem Sterling, I did him because I like him. Uh, he's not that good on FIFA, his shooting is pretty poor and he doesn't have the best of week for a lot of those games are as an impact sub. Got Paul Pogba who I got as an untradeable. The majority of those games are as a defensive midfielder, and he's got a good record for, for that position. Scores a lot of nice goals, uh, but as of like a couple of weeks ago, he's now been gradually moved out of my team as I did an SBC for a certain player, who you'll see in a moment, but I still use him often off the bench. Uh, we've got Gareth Bale. A lot of those games are as a super sub. He's another untradeable from those La Liga packs during Team of the Year. Memphis Depay, I did his SBC as soon as it came out. I invested for it and did it super cheaply. Uh, and the majority of those games are as a super sub. Uh, I used to use them quite often off the bench, but uh, I've now got some better players to bring on instead. Lucas is the player I've played the most games with this year, I believe. 560. A lot of those, I think, are as an impact sub. The first 300 or so, he was in my team, and then I started subbing him in because I had some different players uh, around him. We've got Jonathan Tars Europa League live card, so this will, of course, get upgraded. Uh, I've not used him for a long time. I used to use a primarily Bundesliga-based team. Um, if he does well, he'll get upgraded very nicely, so I may start using him again in the future. Got Sir Canabry's SBC card, really, really nice. Um, but I gradually started using uh, other players away from the Bundesliga, so didn't get much use out of him. And they've got Willian as well from Foot Champions. The majority of those games, I'd say about 150 of them, um, have either been as a substitute or I start him and then take him out immediately and just start him for chemistry reasons. So that is the bench reserves. Now let's get on into the main starting 11. And bear in mind, I don't actually play a 4 3 2 1 in game, I swap it to a 4 2 3 1 rather than a 4 3 2 1. Um, we've got a lot of very meta players in here. We're going to start off in the goalkeeper position with Thibaut Courtois, my favourite keeper on the game, the best in my opinion. This is a first owner card, played 164 games with him. Previously, I had him as a, a tradable card. Uh, well, this is tradable too, but one that I bought off the market and I played a lot of games with him, packed him, and thought I might as well use the first owner one. So, we've got him there. Very, very good keeper. Although, as of late, he's been making more mistakes since the patch. I'm not entirely sure why, but I've tried all black, I've tried to Stegen, and he's the best of the bunch in La Liga. And then got Jordi Alba in at left back, my favourite left back on the game. I'd say him and Alexandro are very similar. Uh, I just use Alba because he fits the team for chemistry reasons. Marcelo, I didn't like because of his work rates. He was always playing as like a left winger. I just had a massive gap, which everyone exploited, and I scored uh, or I, I conceded rather a lot of goals down that side. Uh, then we've got two very popular centre backs, probably the two most popular on this game, and they are of course Sergio Ramos and Rafael Varane. I uh, played 77 games with Ramos. I've used him on and off. I played a lot of games with him at the beginning of the game. Then I upgraded to Ferdinand. Then I did Campbell's SBC and used him. Then I traded Campbell in for a player you'll see later on and got Ramos back. So he's in the team there. 200k, very, very good player. And then we've got Rafael Varane, probably the most popular centre-back on this game. 168k I played for him a very long time ago and I've played nearly 300 games with him and he's worth every penny. And then in at right back, we've actually got a special card. And it is going to be Lala right here, uh, who obviously I've got from Foot Champions. As you can see, this is his third in form. 178 games played. He is very, very good. He does have a slightly better card, marginally better statistically, and that is obviously the headliner card. But since I already have this as an untradeable, I don't see the point in upgrading right there. I've, I've thought of maybe getting the team of the year versions of the centre-backs, um, but I think it's a lot of coins. I could spend that, but I think it's a lot of coins for a centre back and I'd rather invest that uh, elsewhere to then upgrade uh, my team in the future. Now moving into the midfield we've got another first owner player if I can find him. 
he is a he is an untradeable. And this is a there's a, a funny story behind this. I got him. It's N'Golo Kante from playing one game in Division Rivals. I literally played one game, got the worst rank. I got like an untradeable 5k pack. Basically, I played one game, went to Amsterdam the next day and didn't come back for a week. So, came back, took the untradeable rewards and uh, I got Kante, which was pretty crazy. And uh, I've played 436 games with him. He's so, so good. Um, he just clears everything up and makes up for me being pretty bad uh, as a defensive player. I actually got Pogba like the next day, I think, also from really really bad packs. I think that was from like playing one squad battles game for a uh, weekly challenge or something, which is pretty random. Then we've got one of my favourite players on this game, and that is going to be Kevin De Bruyne. Now he's off chemistry. He's on eighth chem in game. Uh, I played 266 games with him, uh, on and off between playing him centre mid and attacking midfield. But he's got a pretty decent record. Um, I think uh, I've probably played about half those games as a centre mid and a 4 2 2 second variation and the other half of them as an attacking midfielder. His long shots are crazy, his finesse shots were so good but they've been massively nerfed and uh, finesse shots aren't OP anymore. But his card is just so so good, perfect attacking midfielder. Uh, obviously I could like, upgrade to his team of the year or something, there are a few upgrades here, same with Kante but I like the team as it is and I've got a lot of untradeables so I just use a lot of the same players. Uh, we've then got the card that I brought in instead of Pogba, and that is going to be the La Liga SBC Casemiro. And I really, really like him as a defensive midfielder. The issue with Pogba is he had high-low work rates, so he would always kind of be caught out of position. Casemiro's got medium-high, very good defending and physical. Not the quickest, but with the Catalyst game result, I believe. Yeah, Catalyst game result, I've got to fly to him. Gets him up to like 75 pace. And he's very, very good. I prefer him to Pogba as that defensive midfielder. He clears up very well. And him and Kante form a very, very good partnership. Next up, we've got the first of two icons. And it is going to be Pavel Nedved, who I did very recently. I think I did the SBC yesterday. Played one game with him. Scored one goal. Five-star week for four-star skills. Really, really nice stats. All around, just everything you want. Strong, very good dribbler, good pace, very good shooting, good passing. Very, very good player. And uh, I did him basically for free. I did the Nakata SBC Prime Nakata, uh, just with untradeables. Put him in uh, for the uh, the Nedved SBC, and then apart from the icon, the Nedved SBC is fairly cheap. It's like an 85, 84, and 83 rated team, and then some cheap ones. So not too bad at all. I think it was maybe like 100k, not entirely for free, but I used mainly just untradeables. Then we've got another icon, and that is George Best. Again, obviously the Prime from the SBC. And you can see I've played 176 games with him, 76 goals, 63 assists. Not an amazing record. My wingers never really seem to score that much, apart from when I used to use Stoichkov and he was just amazing. Um, but my wingers don't score that much. It generally just seems to be my striker. Best is amazing though. He's got insane stats and he's a lot of fun to use. His dribbling is amazing in game. I often play him as an attacking midfielder. I mix it up a bit in game. You'll see some of the different formations I play. Uh, but finishing off the team, this is a fairly kind of new team I've made. Uh, I used to use um, Cristiano Ronaldo and I had a, a slightly different team. I had best, I had Ronaldo. I, it was a 4 3 3 fourth variation I started off with. I used to use Pogba as well. That was before I then got Casemiro. But then I thought, Ronaldo's sick. He's the best player I've used this year, but he was like 2 million coins. So I just decided to sell him, invest the coins elsewhere and try and get up to like having a seriously good amount of coins so I can then start bringing Team of the Year defenders, maybe someone like R9 Ronaldo up front, those types of players there. So I'm using Ibra, who is very, very good. He doesn't have the best of records because a lot of those games, I'd say about 70 of them are probably as an impact sub from when I was using Ronaldo. I'd sub him in when I was losing and go to 4-2, 4-2 and 2-2 second variation with Ronaldo and Ibra up front. Um, but when I started him all the time, he had a positive goals per game ratio, got loads of assists. He was so, so good. He's probably the second best player I've used this year behind Cristiano Ronaldo. And he was only like 150k as well. And he just has an amazing card. 94 shooting, 92 physical, 6 or 5, 5 star skills. It's an amazing, amazing card. So this is the team I use. You can see that at, uh, De Bruyne is obviously on 8 chemistry. But that is the team I'm currently using. And I play this in a 4 uh, two, three, one formation. If we go to custom tactics, you'll see here. Um, actually, no, I have to do this. You can see. So my ultra defensive is five, three, two. Defensive is four, two, three, one. Attacking is four, one, two, one, two. Second variation with best and uh, uh, Ebra up front and Ned bedding behind. And then ultra attacking is four, three, three, four. So that is my team. We've got that out of the way, and a lot of people do want to want to see my team. I get lots of comments about it, and unless you watch my live streams, I don't think you'll have seen it. 
but there's still a lot more to, to see in my club so we've of course got the the actual club itself so you can see here we've got man of the matches I pick up the majority of them as investments um, so we've got a few of them we've got farmen we've got some informs I've you did have a lot more informs but I've been gradually selling them recently we've got some ones to watch here's just some discard price investments here a lot of ultimate scream investments too uh, a random man of the match card I just as I said buy pretty much all of them as investments then we've got a variety of gold cards there. Pretty much all their expensive ones are for SBCs, not SBCs, uh, squad builders rather. Either the main one that I currently use, the main team I use, or for, for actual videos as well. I'm not sure if you'll have seen a video or not. As of, as of late, I'm not sure when this video is going out because I'm scheduling a lot of videos ahead of time before I go on holiday to Cyprus. But I have done a squad builder video fairly recently and you may have seen some of the players that you see here in that. Then got, just got a lot of 83s, 82s, those types of players that I just keep... To do SBCs with and then we've got a lot of uh, just random cards down here lots of non rares and all that which you guys probably don't care much for but I have a lot of good untradeables if we go over here you will see all these cards I think you've, you've already seen all of them but as we get further down this this card you won't have seen but Jimenez I have traded a lot of my foot champions cards into SBCs um, so you won't see all of them uh, we've got uh, this promise card who I got uh, from I believe it was from uh, the foot swap uh, promo last month. I used him as a super sub every now and again just to try him out. He was quite good. Van Dyke, I've not used, but uh, yeah, that's an untradeable. Got him there. Kovacic, I did a lot of those footmas SPCs and haven't really used any of them. Valencia, I played a bit with, but then I packed Lala literally like two or three days later. Kazawa, I used a bit. He was quite good. Um, Fraser, all these cards here I haven't really used at all. Anyone else? Dembele is quite good. I've used him a lot as a super sub, like hardly any of those games he started. Um, we've got Kadra back. This guy's quite good. I used to use him when I used that Bundesliga team. I had uh, the, what's it called? The Road to the Final Renato Sanchez, who I packed. And I used to use him, Lewandowski, Boateng. Uh, I had uh, Jonathan Tarr as well, Farman, some decent players there. Torreira. I mean, we've got just some random players down here. Haven't really used many of these cards at all, I don't think. Um, nothing nothing really down here yeah we've got these Champions League cards and then just some random some random silver so that's my club in terms of players that's what we've got there but there's still quite a lot more because I've got a lot of cards on my transfer list I think the total value of my whole club is around 10 million coins um, we've got Ronaldo there who I sold uh, we've then got a lot of investments so I've got loads of man of the match Gamero that I've invested in Silicons, Yakan Bach whatever that guy's name is, Finn Bogerson, a lot of him, Orban, Brandt, loads of investments all along here, got ones to watch investments, just lots of discard price cards, uh, and then loads of transfer cards as well who I invested in, specifically Casilla and Marata for league SBCs, I've got loads of them, loads of random special cards here, I think I said it's about 10 million coins, my total club value with all these cards here, and then all the untradables as well, and like the price of doing the SBCs and all that. Um, there and then I think I've got some cards over on my transfer targets as well yeah I've got a few more cards I've been picking up there but I think yeah as I said the total price of the investments I've got uh, of the team I've got all the untradables and everything and the price of doing those SBCs is around 9 to 10 million I believe um, I think so anyway um, I think best is like 1.5 million Nedved's about a million Ebro was like 150k De Bruyne was like 500k he was like 400k I think Kante is like 300k, We're looking at about 350 for the two centre backs, he's about 70, Alba's like 30, Lala's like 160, Vinicius Junior is like 1.6 million, Suarez is like 1.5, so we've got a lot of expensive players down here, but um, believe it or not I've only spent like 40 pounds on FIFA points this year, and I got literally nothing from that, it was very early on in the game, um, and uh, I think it was like on the first day or something. We've also got my transfer profit, which is something a lot of people ask about. Um, if we go down past all these people who spend lots of money on the game, uh, we've got 7 million uh, as my transfer profit right there. I haven't traded since the first month or so of the game. Um, that's all just from investing, really. I'd say 6 million or so of that is from investing. Um, match earnings, 500. Okay, 190 is my top squad. I don't really think there's much more to cover when it comes to this club tour. Um, showing you guys the team, the players, the investments, 
all those stats and stuff you might be interested in too. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. I've had a lot of comments recently about um, my club, like asking to see my team and that kind of stuff. So hopefully this has answered any questions there. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, get on your own hair, and I'll catch you later. Take care.